when is epinephrine the answer on USMLE? There are five very high yield use cases you need to know and I'm going to give you the exact vignettes they will give you on the exam so you never miss these questions. First use case is cardiac arrest. So if your patient is in ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia or asystole or pulseless electrical activity, now you need to give the patient IV epinephrine 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes per the ACLS protocol. Why IV here and not IM? Because in cardiac arrest there is no circulation to absorb an IM injection so you need direct vascular access and you are pushing it into whatever central circulation exists during CPR. Second use case is anaphylaxis. The patient here will come in with urticaria, angioedema, wheezing, hypotension after a bee sting or peanut exposure. And what will you exactly give? Well, it's intramuscular epinephrine into the anterior lateral thigh. Now, some students will say, well, why not IV epinephrine? And here's the key. IM epinephrine into the thigh has the fastest absorption because of high vascularity and large muscle mass. Third use case is severe croup or bronchiolitis. They will give you a case of a child with strider and respiratory distress and you need to give them nebulized racemic epinephrine. The alpha 1 effect causes mucosal vasoconstriction which reduces airway edema. Fourth use case is mixing it with local anesthetic. Epinephrine added to lidocaine causes local vasoconstriction which keeps the anesthetic in the tissue longer and reduces bleeding. Fifth use case is refractory septic shock. If you've already used maximum norepinephrine and vasopressin but the patient is still hypotensive, you need to add epinephrine for its combined alpha and beta effects to squeeze out more cardiac output and vascular tone.